Promoting and preserving one's cultural identity is imperative as it is a constant reminder of who we are as a community or a tribe and a repository as a museum is one such center that provides a chance to go on a trip down memory lane. In this episode of Shillong's Iconic Structures, we are featuring the State Museum, also known as the Captain Williamson Sangma Museum, a storehouse of artifacts and knowledge about the diverse culture and way of life of the Khasi, Jaintia and Garo tribes. Established in 1975 under the Department of Education, the Ethnographic Museum that places importance on culture over chronology in its exhibits was initially housed at the Old Legislative Assembly Building in Kandailad with a small gallery showcasing a few collections. It was only until 1988 when the Arts and Culture Department was created that the museum was shifted to the present site at the premises of the State Central Library near the main Secretariat building and opposite the All Saints Church. The State Museum was later renamed Captain Williamson Sangma Museum after the first Chief Minister of Meghalaya, Captain Williamson Sangma, who was also one of the notable leaders of the Hale State Movement for the attainment of statehood for Meghalaya. According to a short description mentioned in the website of the Museums of India, the State Museum was given a facelift and more exhibits were added to its repository with the help of both the Indian Museum and the Victoria Memorial Hall in Kolkata. It was formally inaugurated in 2004 with more than 2,500 exhibits. Though the architecture of this museum is not as sophisticated as many renowned museums across the country, its plain shaped design with pitch roofing at the centre exudes a sense of curiosity. This two-floored red and white coloured museum with traditional mats as wallpapers and countless relics and traditional items kept inside spotless glass cabinets speaks volumes about the rich heritage and culture of the Khasi, the Jaintia and the Garo tribes of Meghalaya. It has two main galleries, the Khasi and Jaintia Gallery and the Garo Gallery, developed by the Indian Museum, Kolkata, under the aegis of the Department of Culture, Government of India. Each of these displays several objects integral to the lives of Meghalaya's tribes. Some of the ethnographic collections that are documented include various kinds of objects like handicrafts, objects of rituals, domestic articles, weapons, pieces of jewellery, costumes and so on. From life-size models to miniatures, the exhibits on display in the museum, be it the people, their way of life or the tools for farming, gathering and fishing, utensils and jewellery are a magnet of attraction as the neatly and tediously sculpted models with lifelike expressions reflect the true nature and life and culture of the indigenous people. A museum also houses two mini galleries that include paintings, some contributed by local painters and others by the Indian Museum and the Victoria Memorial Hall, Kolkata, and a gallery showcasing the traditional musical instruments of the three tribes of Meghalaya. Did you know that a few Stone Age tools are also on display in the museum? These stone tools with blunt edges, probably used for farming and other domestic purposes, are displayed neatly inside a glass cabinet along with other natural stones found in the state like basalt, quartz among others. It would also interest you to know that the replicas of Ashoka pillars from the National Museum in Delhi are also installed outside the museum next to the main door. Are you aware that there is also a separate mobile museum dedicated to Meghalaya's past, its glorious freedom fighters and architects? This is the Museum on Wheels, parked just outside the State Museum on the premises of the State Central Library. This mobile museum travels throughout the 12 districts of the state, taking the museum to the people. It was inaugurated in February in 2022. The museum will be adding one more gallery to the existing ones. This new gallery, which is currently being furnished, will showcase relics from the Stone Age. It was learned that an empty building next to it, which is currently under lock and key, is an extension of the museum and efforts are on to further expand the museum and add more ethnographic collections to its seemingly diverse repository. 
The museum continues to collect valuable exhibits, rare articles and antiques to serve as a research institute for intellectuals and students to gather information about the rich cultural heritage of the state. Over the years, the museum has catered to researchers, students and tourists from the state and even beyond. Its humble collections of objects of historical significance will continue to serve as a portal to the historical and cultural world with the journey and life of the state and its people at its core.